Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now... Promoter of the decade. Well, I don't like to say this. I'll say it through gritted teeth, but... You've got to give Eddie Earn the Promoter of the Decade Award now. He's been about, what's he done it, nine and a half years or something? Ten year. We've got to give him it. He's worked hard. He's managed to put himself in a very good position. Uh, he earned about 46 and a half million quid last year. He's going to probably earn a bit more than that this year. So you'd have to say that, you'd have to say that Eddie Earn is, uh the promoter of the decade of the decade no if so buts about it the guy has set the he set the bar high he's set that's the yardstick now he's he, Eddie Earns that good the uh, it pains me to say it because he's had it gifted him hasn't he? and we've had a lot of luck but he's set the bar that high that when we now have a sky show that's poor he can just say, well, when I started in a leisure centre, look what we're, we're being served up. And he's right, isn't he? We've been spoiled, but I think that the Joshua situation has been very well protected and they're going to keep protecting him. They're just going to go back to doing what they were doing. They did it with Chris Eubank. They rinsed it until we'd had enough. And I think till this group of fans that followed Joshua have had enough, they're not going to give us Wilder, they're not going to give us Fury. They're going to talk about it and they're going to get all you people, all you gimps from Gimpville Island, the Gimp Squad, talking about AJ and Wilder, that squad. You're going to be talking about splits and who brings what to the table and things like that and the fans are going to keep talking about it non-stop and doing my head in and doing my inbox and setting fire to my inbox regarding messages about Wilder and AJ and Fury I mean this is how I look at it right Tyson Fury's not got a belt Wilder's got one belt but who's he beat? he's got two wins over Stavern that's the only world champion Wilder's beat Fury's beat Vladimir in his 40th year and a blown up cruiserweight in Cunningham. That's it. Joshua's got five wins over world champions. He's got the best CV. He's got four belts. So he's the top dog, isn't he? But Eddie Earn's doing his job. He's manipulating and moving. He's a mover and a shaker behind the scenes. He's, he's used everything to his advantage. What Everything he's got at his disposal. You've got to give him credit. I know how this game works. I've seen it close up. I've seen moves that would shock, shock you. I could come out with all sorts and get me sent in a lot of trouble, but I've seen things that make your eyes pop out. What goes on behind the scenes now? Eddie Earn, he's he's up there with Bob Aaron, but the last ten year, he's been the best promoter in world boxing, and he's probably just shading out Bob Aaron and De La Hoya as a top promoter in world boxing is the busiest he lives it for his job so he has to be given credit and like I said it's harsh reality uh, do I want him on my channel of course I'd have him on channel am I going to lose any sleep over it no, if I had him on the channel I wouldn't want to go meet him because he gets under my skin he is annoying, he's a bully we know that for a fact he's a bully and he looks down on everybody. I know that for a fact. If you don't believe me, go and ask Dave Allen. Alright. Eddie Earn looks down on everybody. It's because of the upbringing he's had. He's had a silver spoon in his, mouth, in his mouth all his life. I'd have him on channel, but only on phone. I'd just have him on channel on the phone. I've got plenty of questions I want to ask him from the fans, but they're not going to let me ask him questions about stubble why they've put pay-per-view up 
if Joshua is so great, why are they gone to New York and Saudi? What about the British fans that stood by him? Is it true that they stopped putting Joshua fights on in England because the numbers were tailing off? Is it true that the last couple of fights in England, Povetkin and the Tackham one, is it true that Eddie Hearn comped thousands and thousands of tickets that gave loads and loads of tickets away? Are they going to admit that? No, they're not going to admit it. Are they going to tell us the real deal with the zone and about how they've spent millions and millions and they're trying their best to recoup it? No. Are they going to tell us about the plans for KSI Logan Paul, a third match? They're going to have a they're going to have a trilogy. Are they going to tell us about that? No. Is a trilogy in talks? You bet it is. They're going to do it again. Uh, that's just how it goes but Frank Warren's got his little gimmick now hasn't he it's all about gimmicks and he does numbers he does numbers Tommy Fury does numbers so Frank Warren's going on about now so Frank's going to milk that Tommy Fury will be 25 and 0 before you know it he'll be fighting bin men two or three years from now learning his craft he'll be another Conor Ben that's just how it goes I'm afraid you get a bit of a name first and then we talk about your boxing, whereas before you had to fight to get a name and then we spoke about you. Now, people make the sense famous on social media, then the protected species, aren't they? Are you telling me Tommy Fury is going to fight anybody with an heartbeat? No, he's not. So, it is what it is, isn't it? Dave Allen, he were putting rock hard fights against really tough men. And he got a bit of a profile off back of it and he was funny. But soon as Dave Allen's given a knockover, everybody everybody goes crazy because he's a tough man. Dave Allen deserves a few knockovers, doesn't he? But everything for Dave's pointing to a British title shot now, isn't he? For a vacant belt with Nick Webb. So the rematch. So good luck to him. But getting back to Eddie Hearn, he's the world's top boxing promoter. Love him, hate him. Or you just want to squeeze his cheeks like me, but a bit tighter than normal. He's here to stay, and he's an hard worker, and I've got nothing against anybody that's a hard worker. All right? Give Eddie Earn his credit. He's an hard-working promoter. Yeah, he's had it. Give him. He likes to talk and make out he's from the streets. I'm Eddie Earn. I'm from Essex. Apples and pears. Cheeky Nando. Tom Ford suit, sunglasses, another cheeky Nando's, Kugi Bear, got a Rolls Royce on, and my dad's Baza. You know, he likes a McCart, he's a geezer, but the, re the harsh reality is Eddie Earn has been in a couple of tight situations since he's been a promoter, and his rear end fell out both times. In fact, <laughs> dropped out. So, it is what it isn't. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. If you've not subscribed, press the red button and click. And then you get your porky fix straight to your phone. That's just to the, the new fo the new what followers that have not subscribed, all right? So, peace out. Shout out Innovation Alloys. South Yorkshire Packaging. And, wait for it, wait for it. Shout out to Robin Reed multivitamins and number one in multivitamins all right peace out